Okay, hi there, welcome to a micro video. Uh, the concentration ratio is the focus of this short revision topic video using recent market share data from three different markets. So first of all, what is the concentration ratio? It's a key measure in micro and it uh, tries to capture the combined market shares in percentage terms of a given number of firms compared to the whole market size. And normally we take the two or three or five firm ratio. We're looking to see the extent to which a market is concentrated in the hands of a few producers. And we use the concentration ratio to assess the extent to which a given market or industry is oligopolistic, uh, dominated by a few firms, monopolistic, perhaps dominated by one or two firms, or perhaps highly competitive. An oligopoly, a rule of thumb reminder, is defined as when there's a five firm concentration ratio of greater than 60%. We'll come back to that in a second. Typically, when the concentration ratio is high, the regulatory authorities, the competition authorities, uh, they may well be concerned about a possible lessening of competition uh, because of dominant market power, uh, and that could then impact on consumer welfare. So let's look briefly at three examples of market share from which we can derive a simple concentration ratio. Let's take, first of all, the, uh, the battle for the brand of smartphone that you have. Uh, so here's the data on the market share of smartphone manufacturers in the UK in 2019. The market for smartphones has been dominated by Apple and Samsung for quite some time, and the trend certainly points towards it staying that way. Well, here's the market share. Uh, clearly, it's a duopoly in the sense that the two largest firms in the market have 80% of the market. So the two-firm concentration ratio is 80%. If we then broaden the market out to take the next three biggest firms, uh, we find the five-firm concentration ratio goes up to 92%. Let's take our second example, which is internet service providers. And here's the data. Uh, people being asked by Ofcom, which internet service provider does your household currently use as its main supplier at home? And there's the market share of the main ISPs in the UK. Again, some dominant firms there, although not quite as dominant as our previous example. So there's a wider range of options. If we look at the concentration ratio, if we take the, the top three firms... BT, Sky and Virgin Media together, they accumulate 68% uh, of the market. 68% of the market. Uh, and if we then broaden out, take in uh, uh, Talk Talk and uh, Orange T-Mobile EE, we add another 17%. So we have a five firm concentration ratio of 85%. Again, clearly here an oligopoly market dominated by those five big firms. My third example looks at the uh, market for petrol in the UK, the retail petrol sector. And here's the market share of motor fuel sold in petrol stations in the UK in 2018 by brand. Data arranged by market share. I've only included here examples of um, brands which have more than 1% of the market. So this doesn't add up quite to 100%. Uh, you can see here that there's a more even spread of market share. Tesco is, is in fact the biggest uh, petrol retailer in the UK, followed by BP, Shell, SO, and then some more supermarkets uh, come in there. Three firm concentration ratio. Take the top three firms, Shell, BP, Tesco, we get to 44.3%. The five firm concentration ratio goes up to 667 So again, that is sufficient to define this market as an oligopoly. Examine the significance of the concentration ratio. Well, it can be a useful measure of the degree of market power and associated risks to consumer welfare. However, uh, the data often depends, the figure we get often depends on how the market is defined. I've given you some data about the UK. Well, it could well be the case that local monopoly is higher. There could just be one petrol retailer in your local area. Um, there could just be one major internet broadband supplier in your local area, for example. Equally, if you take the market across the global perspective, the market share could well be weaker. Market share on itself is useful, but perhaps it's less significant than the actual behaviour 
the actual decisions taken by firms in ties and non ties terms, particularly those with a large share of a market. Uh, monopoly can be defined by its market share, but probably more important to think about what monopolists actually do in markets rather than narrow focus on, on the numbers. And the simple concentration ratio tends to ignore competition across markets. So you might, for example, have the market share data on taxes, but that might ignore competition from city centre buses and light rail. You might have some market share data on short haul flights from one city to another uh, in the UK or other countries. But again, that might ignore competition with intercity high speed train. So there we go. A quick overview and update on the concentration ratio.